Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack. Back again to bring you our next episode for our Zero to Hero series with my Resta Druid. If you haven't been following already, we're going Zero to Hero, which is 2500, with no add-ons except for details, and just using the default starter Resto Druid build, which is lacking in Grove Guardians, making my tier set almost worthless, and very much lacking in a lot of important and valuable tools. Chief among them is a good crowd control for Incorporeal Week, which is where we're at at the moment. And in this VOD, I had to use Cyclone and nothing else to be able to help out with Incorporeal. Thankfully, our gearing process has actually been going pretty well. Some other characters I've been trying to gear have, of course, been struggling to find certain trinkets but my druid really didn't have that problem. Got a sea star out of the latest vault from this past week. Got a coagulated genosaur blood from other sources. I only bought one wow token, but I even think that was like a little bit too much because after crafting only two items, I still had a lot of gold left over. After buying like two crafted pieces and getting like food and flask and everything like that, I kind of just had more gold than I needed. So one wow token really went super super far as we were progressing through this but i definitely noticed one of the biggest things by doing this challenge is how much of a struggle that it's been to make the regular ui work out pretty well uh, in the middle of my screen i put up an action bar and i did the same thing when i played final fantasy with no add-ons uh, i put the action bar in the middle of my screen to track just like important cooldowns and i tried to like organize it's so, like defenses were together output cooldowns were together uh, rotational abilities uh, like things like swiftman and wild growth were more or less together and i have like the details streamer like tracker ability in the top left but i really found a lot of struggle <laughs> with trying to properly track things like reforestation which is giving you the extra procs of incarn by casting swift End and tracking abundance now these are probably not regularly taken in plus talents by any means but it was just very frustrating playing through this and trying to make sure that i'm able to properly track those to take advantage of them because you do have your buff bar in like the top left and there's an arrow by default where you can actually isolate and show uh, less buffs that you have on hand but it also hides abundance and reforestation stacks so even when you're trying to like truncate the buffs that you have in the window it's super difficult to be able to actually properly see what you want to be able to properly track i was able to see reforestation through the personal resource display but i really kind of hate how it moves all over the place and it was kind of existing in the same spot as the action bar that I'd put up specifically to track cooldowns. And so it's kind of like conflicting in that space right there. So one of the biggest things throughout the series that I've been thinking about is like, how far can you stretch the base UI? Like, what are some of the struggles? I'll see, oh, I don't see like spring blossoms hots or something like that out of my party frames. And like, that's unfortunate, probably pretty important or decently important, but you know, whatever. Then you're trying to make decisions as to like whether you use Incarn or you're gonna get your tree back from the procs of reforestation, and then you have to like constantly jump up your movement into the top left corner, or you have to drag that bar down into the middle of your screen and have it compete with all the other buffs that are sort of cycling in between. And this is something I've experienced, which makes me think about how necessary and important a lot of weak auras are for people, because the base UI does such a bad job of being able to help you parse through buff information to drive your decision making. Because pretty much, yeah, you maybe have the personal resource display, but that could conflict with you know, just the action bar setup or any homebrewed setup you have if you didn't have weak auras. But more often than not, that's where people are putting their weak auras on hand. And that's where you're able to have cooldowns for abilities and buff trackers on top of it. Even something like Holy Priest, you'd be tracking your tier set buffs so that you'd be able to drive the decision making of, oh, my Holy Word Serenity is back and I can see the ability and it's shiny. Does that mean it's shiny because it came off cooldown or is it shiny because of the tier set proc, right? And you have to be able to have those decisions being driven in the process. And the base UI is very inefficient for that. Uh, so a lot of times I was just kind of doing my best throughout this series to be able to sort of figure those things out and help it drive my decision making. In uh, this, this run, or many runs that we've had this past week, there were a lot of levers and a lot of toxicity that I had to deal with along the way. So this one is gonna be very interesting. We had both Darkheart Thicket runs, we had uh, Galakron's Fall, we had multiple Atalazar runs where we were fighting for our very lives and fighting against a lot of like social dynamics along the way. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel for more of these videos, be sure to do so. And huge thank you to our patrons who make this all possible. Enjoy this one. Everything kind of went uh, a little like 
too well yesterday, so I'm kind of ready for the brick keys. Use drums, please. No, you. Oh no, we're getting people DC'd. Dying on pole. Uh, I swear, in this dungeon, it's just people leave Insta. Or disconnect, or some combination. And yeah, once we, when we complete this challenge, I, I think we will rip a name change. So if you guys have name change ideas that are truly demented, Taylor Swift mend. Oh, maybe Tay Swift mend or something. Vegan free? Am I too dumb to understand that? Oh my God, take no! Tankums, no, no, no! Come on, come on, big dog. I believe in you. I believe in you. Uh, I can't really rip a res on an offline person. There we go. Let's do a tank. Oh, yeah. Woo. That was sick. I mean, I'm kind of boom, but that was still pretty sick. I need to heal Chromie. Yeah, you got a healer to at least 75% health if everybody is soaking in the group. So, pretty much just gonna toss some uh, some rejuves on her and <clears throat> let it do his thing. Yeah, okay, totally understand the uh, uh, tankums. Oh, we don't even have a battle res. Oh, oh mama. Yo, I hope you guys help me with those. Uh, I'm trying to heal you. You're gonna be in here forever and probably die. Yeah, we're dead. We just give this another college try. <laughs> we just give that another college try. Yeah, I'm running Cyclone. Running only the, the default starter talent build. Mama, it hurt so bad. Yeah, let's see if we make the push. Oh, we made that push easy. Oh, Pog, we got an era doll. Let's go. Big loot. Easy game. That was a that was a really good run. Not only we get a abyss weapon, we also form in that last boss. Preferring druid over other healers? No, I'm doing this rest of druid challenge where I'm going zero to hero with the default talent setup and a little measure of anonymity as I experience the pug life. Just something different to challenge myself try something new other seasons I, i'm just like i'm gonna grind io and that's it on like one or maybe two characters I'm like let's uh diversify somewhat you know oh no He left? Cool, y'all dumb as hell. Man, it was just a little whoopsie daisy. Dang, the tank was uh, rather angry. Would have been me. <laughs> See, not my fault. But also, it's not like the end of the world that that happened. Three different Ataldazars. Surely we cop an invite to one. Let's go, big dog. Uh, two stacks. Oh, it's happening again, just like the other pugs.
Oh no, they healed! No! No! And they're not kicking! Okay, they kicked this time. God bless. Oh no, dude. It's... It's getting rough. It's getting rough. I don't know how I'm keeping these people alive. Bro, please kick! Yeah, I mean, you see it happen. It happens, uh, happens a lot. Come on, guys. We're better than this. Oh, they got it. Yay, let's go. Please, pinging. Okay. We did it! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, we got it. Pugs find a way to make you happy for the little things. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, like, it's all about expectations, too. Cause like, I just don't really have the expectations that we're gonna like, have a clean run. I don't really have the expectations that things are gonna go well, you know? And so it's like, in some ways it's just freeing where I'm like, yeah, yeah, we didn't kick? Shocker. <laughs> Aw, thanks Akuna. I'm like, oh good, things went wrong. <laughs> With no expectations, about <laughs> I'm usually uh, indifferent at the outcome. Now that feels pretty bad. You at least want to like feel good about the outcomes when you get them, but I do know what you mean. And you're like, oh boy, yay, the dungeon is over. That's uh crazy. All right. Uh, tall does our wait. Did I get the flourish off? Nah. And if we didn't get feared, I think we would have been cooking. I think we would have been cooking. No, come on, tank. No, uh, invite him. Invite him back. We can do this. Tank, come back. Smiley face. He'll come back. I believe. Must not pug a lot. <laughs> At least let us get to the very end of the dungeon before we break up and die on Yasma. Like, come on. I gotta tell you, it's looking a little dire. Oh, oh, there it is. There you go, big dog. Okay, 13%. They're making progress. Don't you worry, chat. Making that progress. I'm gonna keep on spamming roots. Just spamming roots. Just spamming roots. Easy. Oh. Whoa! Let's go! Big lust! Woo! Let's go, big lust dog. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Tank's moving the boss a little bit. Yeah, buddy. Oh, come on. Look at that, so clean. Let's go, big dog. Yeah, too easy, too easy. Did, does the mage who, I mean, listen, I'm just saying shout out to the mage because he actually dealt with incorporeal. Shout out to the mage. He interrupted my cast. Yo, what's going on, mustard? Yeah, I need a buddy. 
And I'm gonna die. Yeah. Don't worry, Furby. You and the tank got this, big dog. 400k, 300k, 200k, 100k. Woo! Easy. Yeah, buddy. That is a crisp 47 points, gamers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. We got invited to a 19. Let's go. Let's go, gamers. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I just really didn't expect him to, to get double tapped. Wait, oh no, oh no, it's happening again! <laughs> I got him, I saved him this time, because I knew he was going to get hit. Oh, the iron bark saved him! Let's go! Dude, it's crazy not having add-ons to yell at you when you have shit coming at you. Just like, oh, I got uprooted. Oh, I got etch. Oh, I got the uh, infected thorns. Uh... Soul bolt. So soul volley. Soul bolt. Better, better pull both the soul charmers. Woo! Well, nothing to do but pull the boss. We gotta, we gotta time this, dog. Let's go. One thing throughout this series that I don't like at all is when tanks just stare lifelessly into the next pull and don't do anything. Oh, man. We don't like that. All right. What do you see? Nah. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, for like today. I mean, surely this guy, if he rage quit, he would have, like, checked back in, you know? Come on, man. Easy game, baby. All right. I don't know. We definitely, we definitely got this. We definitely got this. Goal is 2,500. No add-ons. Except for details. And the Druid default starter builds. Which makes things really hard on uh, Incorporeal Week. Who knew? game. I also got 82 points for that. <laughs> oh man. Let's go. Easy. GG's. Lockout loot. Yeah, I know, man. That's the second time, by the way, that we've had a, a lever or DC or whatever, and they've gotten loot. And when we finish the dungeon anyway. Yeah. Lever. Levers get endless rewards, man. Mm -hmm.